As the seasons change, things start to warm up, your fruit trees and your whole garden starts to wake up. But what also starts to wake up are the pests in your garden. Now, if you've watched my videos enough, you will know that I'm a firm believer in leaving nature to do what it does. However, there is one pest that is not very easily maintained by the balance of nature, and that is the weevil. Nothing seems to like the weevil. They're nocturnal and they are incredibly destructive. So what I want to do is I want to show you what they are, what they look like, most importantly how to prevent them because they are very tricky to prevent so that you can get your beautiful blossoming trees to keep the blossoms set their fruit and enjoy everything that these beautiful trees have to offer so over here i can see i'm not sure if you can see but right in there there's a whole little family of weevils this is where i have put in some supports to keep the tree upright in the wind that we have and what they do is, like I said, they are nocturnal. So during the day, they look for any little hiding space they can find. And usually what you do is you can just tap and they will fall off. Like some have fallen off into my hand right now. They are going to hide in a whole bunch of spaces. And this is, they are small little gray bugs. I'll bring you up close so that you can see. The best way to tell weevils is the fat bodies and the little antenna or feelers that they have in front. They're also grey, you get black ones, you get quite a few different types of weevils. But this is basically what they look like. They are quite small and they will hide in the smallest of little crevices, in between the branches, in between the flowers, blossoms, anything like that. And as small as these guys are, they can be incredibly destructive. So now that we know what they look like, let's have a look and see some of the damage that they cause. And then we'll do a quick little show and tell as to what you need to do to keep these buggers off your trees. So the damage that the weevils cause come in a few different forms. The most devastating of which is they target new growth, they target blossoms and flowers, and new fruit that has been set. So what that means is if you have a fruit tree they're going to eat the base of the blossom so the blossoms are all going to fall off. Same with the fruit. As soon as those little fruits have set they'll bite around it and ultimately starve the little fruit of nutrients and water so it all falls off. They also bite the new tips so you the new growth that you're expecting is delayed, is stunted, which naturally just puts your tree back a few weeks, months, and also weakens it over time. Weevils really can infest your tree and they can literally target every single piece of new growth. So it's really important to get control over it. The other way they cause damage is if there isn't green growth, they will eat the bark of your trees or your plants. That is equally as bad because they will ring bark your tree. Your branches, they will eat all the way around the bark. And what you end up with is a dead branch because all of that growth that is meant to happen, all the nutrients flowing down the branch won't be able to get there because they have eaten all the way around it. So now that we know what they look like, we know some of the damage that they cause. Let's have a look at some of the preventative measures that I've tried somewhat succeeded, others have failed, and exactly what you need to do. Before we get there, just a quick little insight into how they live. They will go up and down the trunk during the day and the night. They are predominantly soil born. So they will live in the soil, They will the eggs will be laid in the soil, and then they will emerge and go up the trunks. So the only way to effectively treat them or remove them is by doing something to your soil. That is something I don't want to do because I've spent so much time investing into the soil. So, soil aside, we need to look at preventative measures on the trees. First things first, if you look at the supports that you have for your trees like this, it's very important to, real to note that they will go up your support and across anything that's connecting. So you need to make sure that if you put something on the stem of your tree, you're also treating 
what's supporting your tree. If it doesn't have supports, obviously, then it doesn't apply. So what I have here, which hasn't worked, is a rubber band that has been surrounded with grease. I know that there are a few products on the market like that, mostly overseas, we don't have that in South Africa. I tried that and the problem is the grease dries up quite quickly and I'm not a big fan of going through bucket loads of grease, not very sustainable, not very eco-friendly and so grease rubber does work if you apply it all the time and you keep the grease wet. But here you can see the grease has already become dry and flaky with the harsh African sun. It happens all too quickly. The other option which I've tried, which is not predominantly for the weevils, it's more for the fruit fly, is to bag fruit in organza bags. This prevents the false coddling moth from stinging the fruit as well as fruit flies. So you put the bag over, protect the fruit, nothing can get to it. But because the weevil choose the base of the stems which basically connect the fruit to the branch bags are not very effective because I will show you I moved the leaf moved the bag there were two weevils right at the base of the fruit which was in the bag so don't bag your fruit if you are looking to do it predominantly for weevils they're still gonna get to your fruit or at least the base of it they can chew around it fruit's gonna die off and you're not gonna have anything. So we've tried grease, we have tried organza bags, those haven't been very effective. Now what I'm gonna show you is what actually does work. So the solution to getting rid of the weevils on your trees is pretty simple really. Oh, man, they are just absolutely everywhere. All you need is a plastic bottle of sorts. I personally prefer these see-through and very very smooth ones you do get milk cartons that are rough on the edge but they can climb up that firstly the smooth surface is really hard for them to climb up secondly you get to see inside so i really like that then you need some electrical insulation tape why insulation tape is it stretches don't use something like duct tape or something that is very rigid because trees grow the base expands and what you don't want is to create a strong ring around the base of your tree that could suffocate it or remove some of the nutrients from being able to reach what it needs to. So insulation tape or any tape that is sticky and that expands is a really good option. Some scissors to cut and then the magic ingredient, diatomaceous earth. Diatomaceous earth is incredibly effective against anything that has an exoskeleton. So ants, this will work really well against ants, which is going to control scale. It's going to control aphids, anything like that. And it's also going to work really well against snails. Snails are not going to very comfortably get over the diatomaceous earth onto your tree. And this one actually has a lot of snails. They're just loving this new growth. So what we're going to do, pretty straightforward, is we're going to have a look at the, roughly the thickness of the base. This one is quite small and then we are just going to cut the bottle roughly at the thickness of the, the, the tree. Then we obviously don't need such a big one, so we're going to cut it straight down the middle. And why are we going to cut it down the middle is we need to put it around. So you put it around the tree and then you really only need, I would say about 10 centimeters of height. You don't need a huge thing like this because it's going to be difficult to put the diatomaceous earth inside. So cut it at the, the size that you want. I'm sure there are much better looking solutions out there but I'm going for functionality and what works. So, you now have your little cup and now you need your tape. You're going to put it around and first things first, you need to now seal that middle section. So take a piece of tape and just simply top to bottom seal it off. It's not a complex process, but make sure that that gap is closed because if it's not closed properly, the weevils will be able to go up the tape and bypass what needs to happen inside. 
Now what you need to do is determine the height. Now for me, height is quite important because remember with diatomaceous earth that as soon as it gets wet, it's no longer effective. The lower you're going to put this, the more chance it is of getting wet when you water. If you have any form of irrigation that's going to spray, you want this to be as high as possible. Just remembering if you have supports, you're going to have to do this on the support as well. Then all you're going to do is once you've determined the height, you are simply going to tape the plastic section to the tree and you're going to wrap it all the way around and close up the gap. The gap needs to be closed because ultimately that is what is going to house your diatomaceous earth. So get the size as close to the base as possible. Close it up nicely with your tape. Put quite a bit on if you need to. And for the sake of time and not drawing this video out, I'm not going to do this video right now. All you're going to do is take a tablespoon of diatomaceous earth and pop it inside. What's going to happen is the weevils are going to come up. If they can get up this, the slippery side of the bottle, good for them. They're going to get in, they're going to slip down. And what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to crawl through the diatomaceous earth at the bottom to go up the stem to get here. Now they will end up getting here, but very quickly after crawling through the diatomaceous earth, they will end up dying off. Like I said, it'll also apply to ants and it'll also apply to slugs and snails. So get this little container, put it around your tree, put a tablespoon of diatomaceous earth inside. And just remember, every time you water, take the diatomaceous earth out if it gets wet and put some more, whoopsie, and put some more in so that it stays fresh and your trees stay free of weevils. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe to my journey. And if you've got any questions about this little contraption, weevils in general, or anything else, please drop them down below. I'm more than happy to get back to you. Till next time, happy growing.